this week was the Commission carrying out a review of the border free Schengen agreements, as they're called. And what's happened since we've brought new countries into the European Union? What they've concluded is that things have worked generally well, but we do need to be doing more to make sure we have better border controls, to make sure we, need, we know who's coming into the European Union and who's leaving again, and to make sure that our border controls do the best they can to help us fight against organised crime, people trafficking goods or even people into the European Union, for example. The Commissioner is calling for much greater use of fingerprinting and electronic uh, technology. We're not against this as Liberals and Democrats, but we do want to be sure that all of the proper safeguards are in place to stop the information that's gathered from being abused by other agencies and to make sure that individuals have recourse to law if information about them is misused. Liberals and Democrats are making a protest here this week against Mr. Khodorkovsky's continued detention in Russia. I'm here with colleagues to launch uh, the Khodorkovsky counter, as we're calling it. Here we have on one side the number of days that Mikhail Khodorkovsky has been in jail for financing the Liberal opposition and on the other, the number of days remaining to presidential elections in Russia in which no Liberal candidate is being allowed. We are very concerned about what we see as a gradual strangulation of democracy in Russia and we wish to make a public protest against it. We are in fact today at a total of 1,572 days of jail for Mr. Khodorkovsky, and now down to only 17 days to run until the elections in Russia. Liberals and Democrats want to see Russia occupy its rightful place within the family of European nations as a thriving democracy in which all parties are genuinely allowed to feel tempted.